Our knowledge of Mars is extraordinarily detailed compared to the first observations made with telescopes over 400 years ago. There are dust storms, polar ice caps and four distinct seasons in this dynamic world. Mars has the largest volcanic mountain in our solar system and a canyon stretching over 5,000 kilometres. Europe's Mars Express arrived at the planet in 2003, following in the pioneering footsteps of the United States and the Soviet Union. More recently, India has also successfully sent a satellite to Mars. Since its arrival, Mars Express has found water on Mars, mapped the structure and composition of the South Polar ice cap and discovered auroras. It has also made the closest ever flybys of Phobos, one of Mars's two moons. But it was the discovery of methane in the Martian atmosphere that has made the most impact. This methane could be from geological activity or it could be a byproduct of life. Based on what we know from Mars Express and from other missions that have gone before, methane is a hot topic. So trying to understand the origin of the methane and where on the surface of Mars and when it's being produced and how it is destroyed is very important. The ExoMars 2016 Trace Gas Orbiter will carry two instruments capable of studying the distribution of methane in the Martian atmosphere. And the Cassis Imaging System will provide the next generation colour pictures of the surface to help identify where this methane is coming from. Its predecessor, the high resolution stereo camera on Mars Express, help scientists select the landing site for the NASA Mars Curiosity rover, which arrived in Gale Crater in 2012. ExoMars 2018 will later bring Europe's first rover to Mars, and combined with the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, will help us fill in the gaps in our knowledge, whether it's about electrical processes in the atmosphere today, or the history of water on the planet. The remains a lot of questions about the duration uh, that liquid water was on the surface, for example. Um, and I think these are the sorts of things that we have to go after to try to understand what, what was happening in the past. Um, the other thing is, I think we need to understand a little bit better as well, what is the, really the water inventory in, with depth? Um, because if you want to land people on there, they're going to need drinking water and you don't want to carry it with you. In the mid-1970s, NASA's two Viking spacecraft landed on Mars, specifically tasked to search for life. They couldn't provide conclusive evidence, but the joint European and Russian ExoMars program will be the first mission since then with this aim.